I guess I have to thank you guys. I have always had a fear that I'm going to get stolen. And now top of my list is that I'm going to get eaten. I'm curious what your guys' irrational fears are. I, for me, it's like getting, getting stuck in an elevator. Oh. I think it, it definitely, I always think about that when I'm in an elevator. Mm -hmm. um, that or getting stuck in the uh, airplane bathroom during heavy turbulence. <laughs> oh. And then being like, um, I think it's happened. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's where I'm at. I guess, oh. I guess being being eaten by something. Oh gosh, I actually just realised. Um, not 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 in the context of fresh. I mean, an animal. Um, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you know, I don't know. Being eaten by a, I don't know. A, like a, a shark. crocodile. Yeah. yeah. Or a lion. That would be pretty terrifying. Those those don't feel super irrational. I like them. <laughs> um, now, as a knock-on effect from watching this last night, I'm yet to eat meat. Has there been any residual? stigma around meat or anything for you guys after filming this? I think I've graduated from rare to medium, at least <laughs> on, the, uh, on the steaks. <laughs> uh, but no, haven't, haven't quite knocked it out yet. No, nor me. I have some pretty bad dating history. Have you guys ever had any nightmare dates, hopefully that haven't resulted in anything like the premise of this film? No, none like that. Uh, Have you? You know what I remember because we, we've been asked this question a lot, and finally it came to me. I actually went on a date one time where I thought I was stood up, and then I realized I went to the wrong restaurant. <gasps> oh no! So, so you were the bad that date. Was, <laughs> that's right. You were the bad date. <laughs> Um, Sebastian, you've um, also been doing the Pam and Tommy story. I'm curious, as well as playing a cannibal and Tommy, what else is on the list of acting to do's for you? I am retiring tonight, <laughs> today, <laughs> in this moment. Right, perfect. I'm glad you got the exclusive for New Zealand. <laughs> you know, I, I used to I used to know the answer to that question, and and I actually. I actually don't because because so often when I when I've sort of hung on to some idea of like I want to go down this path it never sort of materialized that way and and whenever I've never expected something coming my way like this movie it it sort of it came my way and so I've sort of surrendered to the fact that I won't really if if it's the right timing and it's with the right people and it can it will it will materialize or not you know yeah I love that um what is the key to when you're acting, finding that delightful place between charming and psychotic. Is there a, is there a method to it? They, uh, they just go hand in hand. Okay. <laughs> um, Kinda. No, I don't, I mean, listen, I, again, like just reading about serial killers and people with sort of uh, on, on, on this, on the narcissism spectrum or the, or the, sociopathic spectrum um, and, and kind of reading up on those conditions, um, it's really odd that a lot of them have the same thing in common in the sense that they, that they invent a certain kind of personality. And, it's, and it can be very believable, but it's a real skilled kind of, almost like a machine kind of removed in the sense of constructing this image that, that they put forward that's very different from who they are. And, and um, I was really freaked out to learn that that's an actual thing. That yeah, a lot that of these serial killers and people I've had in common. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Um, Daisy, I'm curious what was the most challenging part of this because the one of the greatest acting moments that I've seen is the moment you realize that you are attached to something. It's a beautiful scene where the camera stays on you and this like realization just was blew me away. So congratulations. But yeah, what was the biggest challenge for you in undertaking this role well yeah I mean that was that was one of them actually that that scene like I think you know I think like tr trying to f sort of ground those moments in as much truth and like honesty as possible in order to kind of earn and I guess the kind of um journey that the film then goes on um but yeah I mean I think striking striking that balance of tone was something I I, I wanted to really get right and then also like making sure the relationship like 
you know, we, we spent a lot of time working together to like, um, yeah, talk about scenes and make sure that that relationship, you, that you really sort of root for them at the start, I guess, so that you're all the more kind of um, devastated when it takes the turn it does, you know, it's all the more kind of chilling. Um, so yeah, I guess track, tracking the nuances of, of, of the dinner scenes too, because um, there's a lot going on, but there's a lot that's sort of, that's being kept, like both of the characters are kind of, uh, you know, keeping their cards close to their chest. So mm. I guess playing that and tracking those nuances was really important to get right, um, but also quite challenging. So, well, I loved it. That's my time. Thank you guys so oh. much. I appreciate it. And hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to eat meat again. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. <laughs> See thank ya. you. Thanks, guys.